Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your functional safety expert. So today we would like to discuss about safety case as per ISO 26262. So what for a safety case is? Safety case is nothing but like I have developed a product. I, I have to prove that my product is developed with respect to uh, the requirements of ISO 26262. The ultimate goal of the functional safety is to identify hazards during the initiation of the uh, product development and these hazards could be mitigated by implementing ISO 26262. Our aim is to reduce or nullify the severity of the risk or hazard which is identified in the early stages of the life cycle, of the safety life cycle. So at the end, what we need to prove is what we need to do is like we need to develop a safety case for the product which we developed. So safety case is nothing but a claim that my system, okay, whatever the safety system which I have developed is developed with respect to ISO 26262 developmental requirements. So each safety case will have a claim say that, say like I have a driver monitoring system which is developed okay and my system i claim that my system avoids drowsiness or drowsy driving in my claim okay so my system avoids drowsy driving as this is my claim statement so each claim may have one or more safety arguments so uh, to support this claim so why i am saying this claim and how can i prove it as a as a true so each argument explains why the claim is true or in other words like you know how can you say that the system is behaving as claimed okay the sample argument for the above driver monitoring system is through iris position sensor iris position sensor is your cornea position sensor okay like your eyeball movement it detects okay and uh, our system could be able to first thing is like our system could be able to detect the drowsiness in driver's eyes either he's closing his eyes or his eyelid is going up uh, like you know when some people will, will sleep in a way like you know uh, with the open eyes okay uh, so these all things like you know the eyeball movement it will detect okay and it will identify whether the driver is active or not okay once it is it is detected the system will alert the driver through the alarm sounds like you know the way like the way you get for your seat belt the same way you will get the alarm sounds and you will get an activated uh, light symbol or your LED symbol uh, like you know you are drowsy you need to take rest kind of okay it, it won't make a voice statement you know maybe yeah in some of the cars but it will blink the light and it will make that sound alarm sound so which guides the driver to park the vehicle at safe parking and it enables the driver to take rest for some time so we have come up with the claim statement we have come up with the uh, with the argument uh, statement like you know what the argument is like it argument is a supporting um, supporting statement that why my claim is true okay and each argument will have multiple evidences to prove that this argument is verified properly like the evidences like the verification reports like you know uh, your test reports your verification review reports your logs okay your data logs your analysis reports your simulations your confirmation review records etc like you know to prove the that the argument is true yeah we have verified and these are the reports uh, it is simulated and uh, yeah these are the reports and it is working fine like we have tried with multiple scenarios so this is how the entire evidence is okay so a safety argument can have one or more sub claims also like again sub claims will have sub arguments sub arguments will have its own associated evidences we need to ensure on end to end traceability like claim to argument to evidence and vice versa 
a safety claim statement or the claim all the claims here are represented in blue color so each safety claim statement will have one or more arguments safety arguments safety arguments are represented in yellow color here so all the safety safety claim statement has safety argument 1 safety argument 2 and since safety argument 1 we can provide evidences for that to prove that the argument is true but wherein my safety argument 2 is will have in turn like you need to stop to prove so in turn like you know we have separated it out to make it easy see if the the main thing is like you know uh, see even in case of acyl decomposition also like we will split the actual system into multiple pieces so that like you know we won't miss out anything we won't miss out any of the any of the uh, scenario in it like like the same way in the safety claim statement or the safety case also we will try to uh, put as split as possible or you know as small as possible so safety argument 2 is subdivided into three different claims that is subclaim 21 subclaim 22 subclaim 23 and subclaims will have its own sub arguments so subclaim 21 will have sub argument 21 subclaim 22 will have sub argument 22 subclaim 23 will have sub argument 23 so evidences for the respect to sub arguments will be preceded okay so coming back to our driver monitoring system so driver monitoring system i say that first statement is like my system avoids uh, drowsiness drowsy driving okay so how will it avoid avoid is your safety argument one says your um, driver monitoring system detects the drowsiness and it alert the driver and the driver could be able to take the control of vehicle and he can park it somewhere and he can take rest for a while and once he is okay then he will he can start or he can arrange for other driver assistance something like that your safety argument too is like you know when the driver could not be able to take control so if the system detects okay and the system uh, try to alert the driver but the driver lost the consciousness say this is a rare scenario but the safety argument one like you know uh, he'll give the alert and if the driver will uh, get the control of the vehicle and he'll park it somewhere is a is a frequent scenario but in case like you know um if he loses the consciousness so that's when like you will have uh this particular sub claims okay so what if um what if he loses consciousness so this vehicle need to take control look it need to wait for a for, for a while like you know these many seconds of time or these many minutes one minute or less than a minute something like that and the system need to wait for a while and it will take its own action like you know it will try to detect the parking places in and around uh, the vehicle so it will try to you know um stop the vehicle and at the side at the at the, at, at the side of the road okay at the safer place as it could do so and it will also so it will also alert uh, uh, means like uh, it will do the emergency calling or something like that so this all like you know is a part of the driver monitoring system so this all just hope you got the uh, safety case like how we need to do so safety case is nothing but a claim that my system is developed as per the requirements of iso 26262 so maybe if you are a software developer so you are you you may need to prove that you have developed the system as per the developmental guidelines or the methods which are given by given in the part 6 of the iso 26262 also like i have uh, tested the software system with uh, the particular test methods i have derived the test cases uh, with the particular test case deriving methods something like that you need to claim you need to provide the evidences for the same your coverage your mcdc coverage your so everything will everything should be the part of this and it will provide everything 
the safety case is nothing but it is all and all of your uh, product you got this concept thank you so much for your time so if you like this concept like click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you